things down. Hi everybody. It's it's that time again. It's is day nine, is it? Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. It is it is the ninth. Day nine of our 14 days of love Valentine giveaway. And tonight's um, guest is uh, is gonna be Sheena Metal, um, aka Sheena O'Neill. And um, she said she was going to run a little bit late this evening, so we'll have some little bit of time to kill uh, while we wait on her. So come join me in the chat room. Hi, Lori. How are you? Good to see you, honey. So very glad that you joined me. And, and Lori, I hope you saw the response that I gave you regarding um, your question. You know, um, and, let me uh, turn that off. There we go. Um, I hope you were able, Lori, to see the response that I gave you regarding your question about um, uh, apparition. And uh, just to kind of recap for some of you that uh, um, haven't seen her post, uh, she was stating that she, uh, she was asking, why do I hear music and or talking every time I see an apparition? And she was questioning, does this mean I can uh, communicate with spirit? What's going on? And my response to you, um, Lori, and I appreciate you so much for asking that question. Um, my response to you was that, um, number one, congratulations on being able to see and communicate with um, uh, spirit because they are appearing to you um, through what we call clairvoyance, which is the ability to see. It means clear seeing. Um, but you actually express the... Um, the experience of being able to be clairaudient, which is to hear spirit, okay? So um, that would be one of your abilities in, on the psychic sector, is that you're able to A, see spirit, but more so you're able to hear spirit. Now, um, does it make a difference whether you're hearing music or whether you're hearing them talking to you? Um, probably not. I would say probably not because um, Sometimes we hear music because, A, maybe it was one of their favorite songs, or B, perhaps it was because through the message of the music, they're giving you their communication. So um, that's kind of a couple things to, uh, to consider. So um, I hope that answers your question, and, and I encourage anybody else that has other responses to give to Lori. Her post is um, in the Psychic Lighthouse, and uh, so check it out. And maybe add more if you have more that you'd like to add. Um, check it out. But again, I appreciate your question. And anytime you guys have questions on that um, category or whatnot, um, let me know. And, um, and we'll definitely answer your questions at some point or another. And if I don't know the answer, I am certain we have other members in the group that do have the answer. You know, because we're just, a, we're just, we just got it like that, I guess. Excuse me a minute. Alrighty, let me just kind of add a, a date on here. So hi everybody that's joining us. Um, okay. Christina. And so I get development. There we go. If I don't make notes, I get brain farditis. You know, I, I just forget, you know, so um, I have to write everything down. Maybe it's my age. Who knows? Or maybe it just is. I don't care. <laughs> All right. Gina will be with us very shortly. And um, again, for those of you that are just joining us, um, oh, Danielle is here. Yay. Hi, my lovely. I love her so much. <laughs> um, you know, Danielle, um, what was so crazy, and I threw the paper away. I should have kept it and showed it to you. Um, I had, um, I didn't realize until later in the event that you um, hadn't come to the chat, which is fine. Don't stress over that. That's cool. But so what I did is I asked Spirit, there I am, who was it that was in need of being able to um, receive 
a reading from a specific individual. And what was so amazing was that um, I was writing down the names that Spirit gave me. And um, it was crazy because it wasn't my handwriting. It was not my handwriting. And so, and I even showed it, yes, and you have to watch the live towards the end because I even showed it and I'm like, this is not my handwriting. And uh, Spirit chose the winners last night. So that was so cool. So um, that was a first for me. That was kind of neat. But anyway, we're so happy you're here, guys. And my, my love to Danielle Jefferson. She takes everybody's names and does the drawings for us, which is really cool. And it, it saves us because we're able to then, um, you know, focus on the, the interview itself rather than um, trying to get everybody's name down. That's what Danielle does for us. So we appreciate you. Lori, yeah, yes, thank you. She says, I'll be so glad when I'm able to understand and control it better. It will make such a difference, Lori. It really will. In fact, sweetie, I'm going to be teaching my psychic development class live in New York. I'll be in Messina, I think it is. Um, and I think on the Aquasasne Reservation or in Messina somewhere. Um, but I'm going to be doing a live three-day psychic development course in person, which is amazing. I love doing it, and um, and I love the hands-on uh, and the interaction that you'll be able to have with other students. So maybe keep that in mind as something you might want to do. So that's really cool. So Sheena is on her way. Sheena um, O'Neill, or Sheena Metal, a.k.a., um, is our guest tonight, and uh, she is a, um, a radio show, I call her a radio show celebrity. She's um, a host for LA Talk Radio, and uh, she's done so many wonderful things, and so she'll be with us here very shortly, and then we'll have the opportunity to bring her on and uh, conduct her interview. So, how's everybody liking these events? You know, for Christmas, we did, uh, what was it, the 12 days of Christmas, and um and then uh, Valentine's, we did the 14 Days of Love. And now they're, they're talking about wanting to do something for St. Patrick's Day. Like, you know, something with leprechauns or, you know. So it ought to be fun. It'll be, it'll be kind of neat. Hi, everybody. Leslie, can I, can I let you know when I'm coming to New York? Sure, I'm going to be coming to New York May the 19th. And I will be there over a month. I'm going to be there through the 24th, I believe it is, of June. And so I'll be posting probably in the next day or two, um, Leslie, uh, just to give those dates out and asking people to, if they're interested in booking or hosting private parties, they will need to just let me know what town they're from so I can plan my route. You know, that way it gives me um, the opportunity to um, uh, organize how many days I'm going to be here and how many days I'm going to be there so that I'm not backtracking between, um, I'm going to move my face over this way, so I'm not backtracking uh, back and forth while I'm up in New York. Good question, Nicole. Thanks for asking that. Kimberly, how is your baby today? Yep, I know you, Les. I know you, my darling. I definitely will let you know. I'll put it up on the on uh, Facebook so everybody can kind of sign up. Oh, that would be wonderful, Tracy. That would be good to see you. I always miss my friends in New York, and and but and I always look forward to going back. You know, time and time and again. It's just y'all have to get that snow under wraps there, cause that's just crazy. <laughs> y'all, y'all get the snow by the foot up there. So that's that's fun. All right. Um, there's Kimberly. Did did you uh, did you hear our question, girlfriend? We're wanting to know how's your puppy, or if you heard back from the vet. I hope that you have good news regarding him. But you know, again, I kind of felt like um, it had something to do with blood sugar. Oh, there she goes. And it showed nothing. He had some shakes during the night, but nothing today. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying. To, I'm asking spirit too, Kimberly. Um, and and it could be that perhaps at the time that they did the blood work, 
that that likely the likelihood that maybe his blood sugar had had um you know balanced itself back out again um I don't see any um I don't see any devastating something wrong with baby you know so um that's kind of a, a good thing but again you know always you know confer with your medical practitioners your vet or your um uh medical doctors on uh, on things like that but I don't see anything and I do have the ability to scan the body for illnesses and ailments and whatnot and so um what did I just do? A, a there we thing. go. But, again, you know, always but um, you know, I do have the ability to be able to. Um, Elizabeth felt it was. Where'd that go? Oh, there it is. Environmental. Now that's a very likelihood. I I wonder. Um, I'm wondering. I, I'm not sure that I would pick up an allergy per se. Um, hmm. I might I might agree with that. I I might agree with that. Um, not. Um, I'm not sure about. Um, I'm not sure about allergies or whatnot, but I'm just, exactly, Bill, exactly, like metabolic, like, I, I almost want to say there's something in the chemistry, or maybe even something he got into at the house, or at the yard, you know, something that he got into. So, Sheena, uh, if, you, if you're listening, and you can um, uh, join in, in the conversation, just message that you're here. In fact, I will look and see if I can add you. Sheena, Sheena, Sheena. There she is. Invite. All right. Let's see if she sees us. I hope you get to come too, Lori. It's it's a lot of fun when you can do it live and in person, um, because you uh, you get that immediate response. Well, you do that in the live or in the online class too, but it's just cool. That's all I gotta say. It's just cool. I'm glad, Kimberly. Do keep us posted. Jen, what's going on, girlfriend? I hope you do get to stay. There she is. Let's see. And Hilda ingested something bad. He only goes to dog park and walks in our development. It's so weird. I'm kind of paranoid. Yeah, and you just never know anymore the the stuff that people are tossing to the ground or drop, you know, by by mistake. Um, you just never know. Let's see, Sheena, if you're able to um, respond to the video, that um, did I miss you? Maybe did you respond to the video? No solo mio. Okay, um, I don't see her. Okay, um, let me just give me one second, guys. Bear with me. I'm going to help Miss Sheena find us. Um, okay, I, I think I'm back. I hope I'm back. I didn't. There we go. Okay. Everybody see me back again, I hope. Um, hi, Kathy. Good to see you, honey, my cousin. Um, I'm just keeping an eye out for, um, for Sheena. Yeah, Sheena, if you're, if you're, 
in the Psychic Lighthouse. If you're in the Psychic Lighthouse and you'll see the live video, just comment under the Psychic Lighthouse, uh, under the video, excuse me, and we'll see your conversation and I'll be able to, to um, pipe issues. Okay, there she is. There's my darling. All right. Can you request it to, there you go, bring her on camera, add. There we go. So we're, we're adding, 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 and hopefully we're connecting soon. There Hi. Hi, lovely. Can you hear <laughs> Hi, me? Lovely. Hang on. I can't hear you. Hang on. All right. Hang on. Hi, everybody. Can I hear you now? Can you hear me? <laughs> I do. I, Hi, I can see you, but I can't hear you. Hang on. What's can't going on? Me? Hang on. I got another idea. Hang on. You get to see my big klutzy hands here. There you are. Hi. Uh, now I can uh, hear you. Hello, my friend. How are you? Hi, everybody. I am good. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. It's so great to hear your voice. Yeah, I always get so tickled when uh, people say, your mouth is moving. But I can't hear you. And I said, what I know. do you mean? <laughs> you know, the, the um, Oriental <laughs> movies, you know, they're talking and their mouths are moving, but the voice comes later or it's, in, you know, what is it? Pulled over? <laughs> you know, I turned the sound voice down over. on my phone so it wouldn't ring while I was with you. And mm -hmm. then I turned the sound down so I can't hear you. So hello. Oh. Te technologically <laughs> challenged am I? Sorry. <laughs> All right. So. This is Sheena O'Neir, a.k.a. Sheena Metal. Right. That's um, my real Play name. Talk Radio. Sheena O'Neir is totally it's fake, people. It's only for Facebook. Is it really? O'Neir is yeah. fake? It's Sheena on I Air. A... Yeah. It's, get it? I Sheena on right. Air. It oh, used to yeah. be Sheena on Air, and Facebook got mad at me, so I said, okay, it's Sheena O'Neir, and then they got unmad at me. Uh, I thought Metal was like, because you're a metalhead. I'm now they won't let me have um, a Facebook page under that name because they think it's the name of a band. I know. Seriously? Ten years on Facebook. Really, Facebook? Facebook? I think we're all in a toxic relationship with Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always say Facebook's like the mom from the movie Carrie. You're always locked in the closet and you never know why. So. Exactly. Apparently I exactly. showed my dirty pillows somewhere to Facebook and now I'm locked in the closet. I have no idea. You showed your dirty pillows, really, truly. It's like, it's a Carrie joke I, for Carrie fans. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Welcome, honey bunny. Hi. Welcome. I am so, my hair is wet. from. Nice. Just got out of the shower. You've got that fresh showered look. Yes, you like? I like. I didn't blow it dry. I just kind of, you know, let it hang. Um that's what I let everything hang. What can I say? <laughs> you know what? Just let it all hang out, baby. Let it all hang out. That's right. That's right. That's back in the 70s. Let it all hang out. <laughs> let it all hang out, sweetheart. So, um, yeah. Thank you, my darling, for um, joining us and, and being willing to donate your services Always. to our 14 days of Valentine's, of love, shall we say. I love it. And we did this because, well, I did this because I felt like, so many people are poo poo faced because they don't have a partner. And so they yeah. think, well, I'm left out. Nobody loves me. And so I wanted the message to be, well, then love yourself. Yeah. It all you know, starts there. Who needs a partner to love me if you can love yourself? It all and starts so there. This is exactly. And so this is why I thought this would be fun to come up with the 14 days of love. Beautiful. You know, not Valentine's, but love. And so when we can learn to love ourselves, yeah. um, we, we, we've got the battle won. Okay? Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And now they're talking about wanting to do something for St. Patrick's Day. I was just going to ask as an Irishman when we're doing yes. something for St. Patrick's Day. I think we we're should do the, se the 17 days of leprechauns and fairies. There you go. It has to be leprechauns. I was told that. Spirit said, oh, you got to bring the leprechauns. Oh, I love you the leprechauns. Know. I'm know. about as Irish as it gets ha not having been born in Ireland and I yeah. always keep half and half and a Guinness in my fridge 
so the leprechauns can have a feast 24 7. A half and half, like the milk, yeah. the cream. Leprechauns like cream. I love that. So I, I, keep, I always keep a thing of cream and, and a Guinness for them. Mm -hmm. And some Jameson is, but that's not in the fridge, obviously, because you don't put whiskey in the mm -hmm. fridge. But I'm a non-drinker, mm -hmm. so I don't, I don't ever touch that stuff. But it's just, it's just here for the leprechauns. I love them. That is so cool. So, but yeah, so we're gonna do something with you know the shenanigans of the leprechauns mm -hmm. and the and the fae, you know, the elementals. So how fun Beautiful. is that gonna be? So I'm always so up for shenanigans. Together and, yeah, heck, yeah. Come up with some. Practical. Maybe, maybe you'll have to work for your freebies, guys. Maybe the leprechauns <laughs> will have something to say about Exactly. That. You have to do jigs for <laughs> them. Well, yeah, we'll put you on a um a hunt. What is that thing called? A treasure hunt? You yes, know, a leprechaun hunt. Yes. Rainbow? Exactly. The funny? leprechauns have hidden your free reading somewhere in the briar, and you have to find it. You got to find it, and it'd be like that Pokemon thing where everybody goes outside and looks for Pokemon. They're going to be out there <laughs> right. looking for the pot of gold. With exactly. Their Leprechaun go. Yeah. So that would be so much fun. So, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. This would be a lot of fun. Um, so, Sheena, thank you again. Welcome. And, Always. And uh, tell us about you. Um, some of the things that you offer, um, the the vibration, your your movement for um, yeah. uh, the, um, uh, I keep always wanting to get it right. Raising the, the vibrations of the nation is my thing that sticks in my head. Right. But and the, wor and the world. It's, it's I am raising the vibration of the nation and the world. But as we get our nonprofit okay. status secured uh, and we're switching over to raising the vibration dot org and then I am raising okay. the vibration dot com will become like a daily motivation site. Pretty much. I'm just starting to refer to it as the raising the vibration movement and only putting the full title in writing on the website because you know what? People have a really short attention span and I get it. Me too. Okay, so it's ra raising the vibration.org. Yeah, uh huh. So I just want to put the links out there so people sure. can see it. I and am it's a raising the vibration.org, right? Or is it yeah. just raising? It's raising the vibration.org. Gotcha. And it's a, it's a movement of peace, love, kindness, and unity. And last month we did something very new. We started something that's been a dream of mine. We started doing gatherings hopefully once a month. So our next one is this Friday, the 15th. If you're in the LA area, send me an email and I am happy to uh, reserve some seats for you for free. And um, mm -hmm. I always have a special guest. And then we, I speak a little bit about something. Last month it was positivity. And my guest was my friend Betsy Chassie that directed What the Bleep Do We Know? And, mm -hmm. um, and this time I'm talking about love because it's the love month, right? And my guest is my very spiritual friend and actress and musician, Nia Peoples. And my friend Stephen Day. I Dave's love Nia. Nice. Nice, isn't she I did wonderful? A reading for her. Oh, she's I did so a wonderful. Yeah. She's such a good lady. So she's going to be my guest. And it kind of like I talk a little bit, then I bring the guest out, then I sort of ask them some questions. Then the best part is we take a lot of questions from the audience and not just questions. People can get up and just say, this is how I feel. And it's a free zone. We, do, yeah. we don't discuss politics. We can discuss the ideology of politics, but not specific political people or parties and nothing, nothing specifically secular. So there's no bashing of anyone's religion or politics. And it's, it's a safe space right. for people all over the spectrum. And trust so me, this, there were people all over. Will this be and, live? Like you'd be able to watch it? No, it's just right now. It's just coming out. And, but at some point I will make sure we will be able to watch them live on yeah, the web. But right you now. Give Mia my love. Tell her please hello from me. I will. I absolutely yeah. will. She's such a good yeah. girl. She's so grounded. She's and that's what I loved about her instantly was, you know, just her. She's just all about everybody else. She, there's no ego there with her. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so she's just lovely. Love and, exa and exactly who I want to, to be a part of representing this movement and, um, yeah. they're fun. You come out and yeah. then we do a little reception. You get to meet people, make some new friends. I mean, that's the most, somebody said to me the last time when they came in January, that it's like, it's like therapy mixed with church without the guilt. So, Amen, okay. Amen, sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do guilt. We don't do guilt here. Without the guilt. See, holy yeah. cow, what would religion be if we took guilt out? Right. Of it? And, and church <laughs> and, and therapy. We'd be yeah, there it's because all, we want to yeah. be. <laughs> But I mean, these amazing people sitting like, you know, my very conservative friends sitting next to my very liberal friends and people just getting up and saying, 
Um, I, I feel this way, I feel that way. And there were people there who were well into their 80s and my 10 year old niece wow. was there. So it was like, a, it, was, it was all different ages and, and, and ethnicities and demographics and people just talking about how they feel about the world and how we can make the world a better place and how we can implement more peace and love Isn't and kindness and amazing. unity into the world. Yeah. That's amazing. Sounds it's like my, something it's my we're going to do for Earth Day. Oh, I don't know, we might throw something together for every holiday here. Do it. Let's do it for everything. Room. Yeah, I, I mean that's should. so that's much where my heart that. is now. I, it's I can't even. It's always been where my heart is, as you know. But yeah, and it's yeah. such this movement is such an important part of my spiritual practice. My my ministry and my spiritual practice was sort of born out of this movement. So mm-hmm. I can't really separate the two. And and. I, I'm just, I don't know. I just want to go everywhere and love everybody. That's my goal is just to, to travel more this year, to go more places and, and give my workshop. I'm, I'm teaching it at colleges now and teaching psychic medium classes at schools. And I'm the co-founder yeah. of the new Paranormal Institute in college that we're getting up off the ground that a college professor has put go, together. Guys. I mean, it's just, it's just about how many people can you reach and how much of a positive vibration can you put out there? And, and that's sort of what has come out of me being in this really hot and sexy uh, five and a half year relationship with myself where I finally learned that I'm enough and now I can help other people learn that they're enough just as they are. Yeah, exactly. And, um, and you know what, it falls right back to be the change you want to see in the world. Absolutely. Starts with you. Absolutely. Yes. And and make sure you make those changes inside of yourself. Cause I think Uh so many of us, that are empaths and givers, we're so busy trying to change those around us and we're so busy trying to change the world and the country and our communities, but we never go inside and fix ourselves. And that was a lot of my problem. (laughs) I I did not give myself enough love. I know that sounds so new agey and cliched and like I douche with a crystal, but that's the absolute truth. I just, (laughs) and I'm not saying that means I don't douche with a crystal and that's nobody's business. But I am saying that, um, you know, we, we, need to, we need to really value ourselves because that's where we grow the vibration that we then shoot yeah. out into the world, you know? Yes, yes. You're so right. You are so right. Everybody's loving you. They're just absolutely adoring you. I love um, you all. They're all saying, oh, I wish I lived in L.A. Yes. <laughs> trip, guys. It's I hope to take it trip. on the road. I am yes. going to be in Dallas next spring and next fall. Next fall, for sure, around Halloween for the Embrace Your Spirit Conference. And I'm oh. hoping I'm going to get out there to do a weekend of workshops at Miracles of Joy in, uh, outside of Dallas. So if, if you're in the Texas area, let me know. And I may be in K- Miami Key West in the next few months. Yeah. If that happens, I'll let you know. And I may be in New York area. If that happens, I'll let you know. So Most of our members here are my clients in New York. So, you know, I'm doing a New York tour coming up in May and June. So, so awesome. We must, we must talk, sister. Yeah. I'm envious. If anybody is an upstate New York person, my mom was raised outside of Poughkeepsie in a little town called Wappingers Falls. Awesome. And um, I'm going back there to um, scatter some of her ashes. So everybody's saying, come visit upstate New York, because that's where I go, upstate New York. I love upstate yeah. New York. I have yeah. family in Poughkeepsie and I have family in in uh in syracuse and yeah. i love upstate new york yeah i usually start in syracuse and work my way north and then come back up again um kimberly merriman in the in the chat says um if you go to hawaii i'll carry your bags nice i'd love that <laughs> i've been yeah. in hawaii in a long time i would absolutely love that yeah i've never been i would love that period yeah so that would be awesome so um Tell us about your psychic ability, okay? Okay. Um, what, where, and how, you know, why? Um, I mean, when did you start with your abilities? Pro- probably always and just didn't know. Uh-huh. Um, I was just telling a friend this the other day. I was doing a friend's show um, who lives in England, and we were telling the story that I kind of came out of the box into life, obsessed with Abraham Lincoln. And when oh, I was two, three, yeah. four years old, Civil War soldiers would come and tell me about the war, but I thought that they were my imaginary friends and I was just making it up. And it really hasn't occurred to me until the last uh, six months, a year, that maybe that was not necessarily my imaginary friends. So um, always a very strong connection to 
the Civil War era here and then later into the later part of the Victorian era in London. And um, I didn't understand that those were visits. I just thought that, I mean, I really, I've always kind of believed in past lives and understood that I was connected to those places, but didn't mm -hmm. understand that I was doing it here. And then when I was uh, two weeks shy of 24 years old, I was in a freeway accident here in Los Angeles and I had a near death experience. And that's when things really started coming. And I, so I started kind of seeing triggered, things. Didn't it? Yeah. And, and I, I thought I was just, I guess I didn't make the, even though my mother was an amazing psychic medium, Belle, as you know, I didn't make the yeah. connection between seeing interdimensional beings and me actually having gifts. I guess I just thought because I was in a weakened place and they had me on a lot of painkillers that that lowered some filter so that I could see things that everybody could see if they were in my place. It never occurred to mm -hmm. me. And then I, you know, I've always had these, this very intuitive job of interviewing people on the radio, which is extremely intuitive. And I worked for seven years in Los Angeles on what was then the Howard Stern station. And mm -hmm. it was a lot of shock jocking and callers. And I could just figure out what was going on with people in 15 seconds. Never occurred to me. 10 years ago, came to LA talk radio, started doing my first interview show, my daily Sheena metal experience show. Never occurred to me, I would finish interviews and guests would say, what's going on with you? What did you just do to me? Never occurred to me, and, you know, because I was, I was raised Irish. You keep your, you be humble and you have humility and you don't think yeah. it's all about you. And then one day it just occurred to me that I was listening. I had a guest on the air and I had been briefed by his publicist before he was on not mm -hmm. to ask about his divorce. Yep, and absolutely. as he was talking to me, I could hear him energetically telling me, the, about his divorce and then he just all of a sudden started talking about it out of his mouth and I because I was kind of telling him if you want to talk about the divorce on the air it's okay but it was all being done sort of through our solar plexus yeah and that's yeah. when I went home and thought you know I think I might have gifts isn't that funny all my friends were screaming at me when are you going to come out when are, and I'm yeah. like you guys are crazy I don't have gifts so in um 2014 I kind of I came out on the air a little bit I started working for a friend's psychic collective and I started talking about it more mm -hmm. and then my mom passed March 11th of 2016 and that was a huge life-altering event for me probably the biggest thing since I died had the near-death experience yeah, and about an yeah. hour after she passed she downloaded all of her gifts into me and How then it was amazing. like oh <laughs> what so funny because she used to always say oh honey when I die you're going to inherit this house and you have to know what to do with all this stuff. And I feel so sorry for you. She never said, gee, Sheena, you're going to inherit all my gifts. But I did. And, um, and so, you know, it's a story everybody knows. I started the movement the day after the election, the day we got a new president, because it was my mother's birthday. And I mm -hmm. wanted to do something to honor her teachings. And when I saw that our country was in crisis and people weren't getting along, I decided the best way I could honor her on her birthday was to start a movement of peace, love, kindness, and unity, which were the things that she loved the most. And then in the, the summer, when I got my second download about the movement from the universe to make it a nonprofit and become a minister and open yeah. my spiritual practice, I sort of slid in my spiritual practice through the movement, like, hey, and I also do this. And then it just took off like a shot. And now it's so much of who I am. And I've, I've now reformatted my weekly haunted playground show at LA talk radio where I just now we just do helpings and healings bell. You did one with me. You're amazing. You actually did it on my daily show, which I do it sometimes there too, but haunted mm -hmm. playground. Now you'll have to do haunted playground with me every week. It's to. the same format that we did where I just open up the phones and we just help and heal people for two hours. Yeah. And it's, oh, let's do it. Let's do it's, it. It's amazing. And I so loved having you on my daily Sheena metal experience to do it. it so that's, honor. that's it. I mean, I, I think I have a little bit of everything, psychic medium, yeah. paranormal investigator, amazing. empath, intuitive, spiritual counselor. Mostly I consider myself a spiritual counselor because I, I that's really want to help people. I don't just want to tell you your future. I want to figure out like what's going on in your life and then what can we do to make you happier so that every day is better than the next. Now, Jess Williams has a wonderful question. She says, sure. are you on Sirius XM? And if so, how can we support you? Oh, that's wonderful. I'm not, I did a show on Sirius a few years ago, mm -hmm. uh, which is probably why it's on my Facebook bio resume. Um, I'm on LA talk radio. So if you go to latalkradio.com, and look for my daily show, which is the Sheena Metal Experience, 
or my weekly paranormal spiritual show, which I was just talking about, which is called Haunted Playground. I also do a show for my movement, which is just called Raising the Vibration. And then I do a music show called Music Highway to, to help upcoming musicians because that's kind of the music community, working in the music community kind of helped me launch my career. So I believe you give back and give back and just keep giving back. There we go. So that's the latalkradio.com and they look for the Sheena Metal Experience, right? Yeah, Haunted Playground. And, oh, and Haunted Raising Playground. the Vibration and Music Highway. And thanks for the offer to support me. Let's uh, oh, yes. send me an email or in Facebook message me or leave in the chat or something how I can support you now because I want to support you too. I appreciate that. Hey, it's all about the sharing. You it's know, all, all about, about giving back, sharing. my friend. Yeah, which is what the Lighthouse is all about. You know, yes. I, I, I opened this group. I started this group, um, gosh, January was a year ago. And, wow. um, and my intention was that this was to be a place where people could share. It wasn't a group. It wasn't about me at all. It, it wasn't about any one person. It's about all of us. We're all of a lighthouse. And, sure. uh, and we're like a beacon of energy that we share and send out for lost souls or for anybody that needs to help find their way. You know, we're just that light. We shine that light. And so yeah. we're so fortunate to have so many wonderful people in this group it's amazing yeah. and so they've been talented. so supportive of me in all my shows and i'm so appreciative yes thank absolutely. you all so much kim rafter said um sheena had me on the air i guess you oh, okay kim you called in for questions that's right yeah and uh, when i was on i think and she said uh, she was amazing what she was able to get and the feedback she gave me answered so much oh so isn't that amazing? That makes my heart swell. Thank you, Kim. And Buffy is saying the lighthouse is the best. Such Absolutely. Kind, understanding people and so loving. Thank you yeah. guys for that. Isn't that amazing? It's wonderful. You know, it's so we, nice. We just, um, right, Jen, I was thinking about you today when I'm at Walmart buying chocolates for my grandbabies for Valentine's Day. And I'm like, hmm, I should get a box for Jen. And hey, Jen, here's some chocolates. I'm not, she was telling us one time, Sheena, how she was watching one of the shows that we were doing and uh -huh. went through an entire box of chocolates while she wow. was watching the show. Oh, no, no, wow. no, 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 no. <laughs> so I've been telling her about chocolate ever since. <laughs> so, That's awesome. Yes. Uh, we do need chocolate, Jen. That's, and Earl, I mean, excuse me, Bill says, I love her radio shows. So oh, you thank know, you. We all love and adore you so much. Thank you, we Bill. appreciate that. Absolutely. I appreciate so, all um, of you. Sheena, you are offering to one lucky member in the chat room um, a 30-minute reading. Yeah, sure. And we thank you for that. So My pleasure. Tune in, guys. You know, one lucky listener is, or our chat attendee, I should say, um, <laughs> chocolate with booze would go great. Oh, my dear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Jen is throwing it at me now. Um and then the other one says, chocolate goes with everything. <laughs> you guys are too funny. I love it. Um, so one lucky um, listener today for the live is, um, and you have to comment on the chat. You have to be in the chat. Um, hi, Lucy. Um, you, you have to be here because we're going to draw a, a winner, um, Danielle Jefferson. What am I saying? Is, it, is that right, Danielle Jefferson? I get so flustered tonight. But anyway, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, I must have cleaned out my brain. Um, Danielle is doing the drawing for us, so we don't have to focus nice. about Thank you, Danielle. coming in. Yes, indeed. Yeah. In fact, Danielle, did, did you ever get your reading that I offered you at Christmas time? Because if not, uh, oh, your girlfriend, you need to contact me so we can set that up. Okay. And I don't know. I think we should do one for her, you know, uh, for this one too. This is, this is amazing. So, um, Sheena, are you, um, comfortable if we had a few people that had questions for you? Yeah, sure. We'll we'll double team it if you need, or just I'll leave it to Absolutely, you. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> well, then Danielle, she says no, you didn't. Okay, so contact me, love, because um, I owe you your reading. All right, I didn't forget you. But um, so, uh, does anybody have questions for Sheena first and foremost about um, her work? Okay, uh, if you have questions about what she does, the radio shows, whatever you have a question about, let's start with those first. And Christy Klingerman is asking, what date are you going to be in Dallas? 
I, it's right over Halloween. We're doing like a, a special Halloween thing, seance, paranormal investigation. I'm not sure yet. Mm -hmm. It's good. I, so I believe it's the 30th, 31st, November 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. But I'm not 100% okay. sure, but it's right in that area around Halloween. And, and everybody can always um, email me. I love that. I'm at Sheena at IamRaisingYourVibration.com. And um, send me an email, and I will happily um, let you know about everything that's coming up. And then, there's, like I said, there's a chance I may be going out in the spring, too. But I, I, I haven't heard yet, and I don't know yet, and I'm working on it. So, Sheena at I am raising your, your vibration. Vibration. Com. Com. Okay, got mm -hmm. that. Let's see. Everybody's throwing stuff out here. Let me see, make sure I don't... Um, uh, Hi, Ben Doran. Uh, Jess says, Sheena, did you know your mom had strong intuition or gifts before her passing? Oh, God, yes. My mom was probably the most amazing psychic medium I've ever known in my life. Yep. I mean, if, if, if I, I mean, I think she was close to being like an ascended master. And not just because I'm her kid, but because I grew up in that, in that crazy energy. So, yeah. And, so this and, wasn't and she's, unusual for you then, was it? No, I, I, I always knew there was something she could do, but she kept it very quiet till we moved out here. Uh, we've been out here a little while and I was in college and that's when she started taking classes and learning more and going to a lot of psychics and really confessing mm -hmm. what she was. But interestingly enough, what I didn't know until after she died in her office was I didn't know that she was starting to learn about witchcraft until I found a little cauldron and some dragon's blood pellets and some white sage. So I sort of feel like that's my legacy too. And I sort of picked that up and um, I have a very wonderfully talented uh, witch friend named Patty Negri, who, you know, if you, if you all her. watch ghost adventures, she's on, um, uh, she's the, 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 the Hollywood medium on ghost adventures. She's done a bunch of their episodes and she is so talented and wonderful. And I called her and I said, she's one of my best friends. And I said, I don't know what to do. And she said, I think your mom was practicing a little bit. So she's kind of been teaching me. She calls me her baby witch. And I'm learning and, and I love it because I, I see sort of in the ideologies of what white witchcraft is, how that was really kind of how my mom lived her life. So I see so much of her in all of it. Plus, my mom was obsessed with herbs and obsessed with stones, um, which she used to just call mama's rocks. So everywhere we went, we had to bring mama's rocks. And uh, I didn't really oh, think that, that they so were crystals fun. until we moved out here and she started talking about it. So You'll see behind me all of my plant children. It's been very cold in Los Angeles yeah. this winter. So I had to bring all my plant babies in and they're all behind me. Uh, some of them actually were my mom's and, um, and then uh, all of her rocks are, you know, all over my house. So. Rebecca says, Sheena, you said that your mother downloaded all her gifts and knowledge into you. Could you explain yeah. how that felt? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So here's the story. So my, my mom passed in this super majestic way. It was, it was over the, the night and the sun was just coming up and she was in a hospital that was on the water in Newport Beach. And it was cloudy, overcast, no sun. As, as she passed, the clouds parted, the sun came down, shone right on her. And then I felt her soul move from her solar plexus, literally out her right foot and she was gone. And, and once she was gone, her body almost meant nothing to me. It was the strangest thing. So they had to do some paperwork and they had to ask me a bunch of questions. And I somehow got in my car and I headed back to her house because I wanted to get all of her favorite crystals and put them in a box and take them to my house. I don't know why I was compelled, but I was. I had to get some of mama's rocks. So I got out of the car in my mom's driveway and her driveway was a little slanted upwards. And as I, and I was, you know, tired and I hadn't slept. I'd been with her all night. As I stepped forward, um, I kind of stumbled backwards because I was exhausted and, and she moved right through me. And you know, when you're waiting in the, a line somewhere and you're kind of like out of it and the person behind you is out of it and you accidentally bump into each other and then you kind of get shocked and you go up and you bump. That's what happened with us. And um, I was kind of trying to figure out what it meant or if she was going to come back or why she had moved through me or what was happening. And I went in the house, I got her rocks. I came out, I put the rocks in the car. And as I was walking to get in the car, it just felt like this enormous ball of energy dropped right down through the top of my head. 
and it was like my eyes opened up super big, like fly eyes. And I suddenly had all of this awareness and intuition and empathy and things that I did not have an hour before and I thought or minutes before. And I thought, oh my God, this is why my mother never leaves the house because it's a lot. And um, so she's kind of been helping me from where she is because we're still very close and we stay in close contact. How to, how to deal with this enormous amount of gifts now that she had, but not do what she did in life was to sometimes isolate because it was yeah. too much. So yeah. I'm trying to go the other way and become extra open in spite of the gifts and just learn to put more filters up than to be somebody who Ooh. a lot of and times puts on a, a blanket, hides under a blanket and reads book after book after book, which my mom did a lot. Right. That's the key. Um, Christina Ladak is saying, I felt my dad leave when he passed too. He was there, yeah. but he wasn't. I felt Isn't that amazing? Yeah. I never saw anybody die before. I don't really have any family. So I didn't have, I have no other biological relatives. So this whole mm -hmm. thing was just of all brand new territory to me. Amazing. Amazing. Um, Danielle, I'm going to answer your question very quickly, honey. Whenever you are ready, sweetheart, <laughs> you, you hit me up. Danielle's going to get a reading, everybody. Yes, she is. When you're ready, you hit me up. She says, can I save it for when I really need it? Well, of course. I'm oh, good. isn't she oh, sweet? A yeah. few readings probably for all of this. Yeah, um, she could have one now and one when she really needs it. Yeah. You're also wonderful. I'm actually holding my phone up so it doesn't fall forward with a bunch of rocks that I pulled out of one of my plants. And um, so I can't really read the comments, but I promise I'll read them all when we're done. Yeah. Here's your proof. Yeah. Here's the rock. Um, here's the, rock. look at that. Gorgeous. I, everywhere I go, there's rocks. <laughs> I used to collect them when I was a kid. And I was going to add to you, you yeah. were talking about how you had the, an affinity to the Civil War. Mm. My my husband and I, Gary and I, had a Civil War wedding. Oh, my gosh. Literally, he was in a Union soldier's uniform oh. because he's from New York. And I'm from the South. And I wore the Southern Belle gown. And oh. we, were, we arrived, I arrived in a horse and carriage. And all his, his groomsmen were in the Union soldier's uniform. My son was in the Confederate because, you know, I'm from the South. And right. it so it was written up in the paper in Rochester. It was just so much fun. Wow. Yeah. That is so beautiful. Um, yeah, I had a Civil War bedroom when I was seven. And my mom Did was you? nice enough to make me a Civil War bedroom yeah. when I was seven, which was probably an odd request for a little girl in the 70s. And I think my mom was really amazing to do that. Yes, it was. Well, it is, I should say. Um, so let's let's hit a couple of questions here. William Earl is asking, who is around me right now? Okay, William, there's a really strong older male energy around you. Who is that? Yep. Yeah. I felt it. I want to say like a like a like a big guy, like a sort of a big big strong masculine guy. Do you see that too, Bell? Yeah. Yeah. I did. Strong and jovial and gruff on the outside Bill, and your, sensitive on the inside. Was your father crossed over cuz I kind of felt like it was a father figure? Yeah, uh, father figure for father. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Marie. Marie says your wedding picture is beautiful, Belle. Thank you. I can't wait to go check it yeah. out, Belle. That's what I'm doing as soon as we're done here. <laughs> yeah. I'm clicking on photos and going and to look you know at that picture. Funny is throughout every single photograph. Now, when we got married, we were married on Halloween. Oh, and, that's awesome. Um, through every photograph, we believe Gary's father was in the picture because Gary's dad had passed away. And, um, and, and Gary kept saying, oh, my dad would love you. My dad would love you. And so throughout every photograph, and mind you, it was not a sunny day. It was supposed to rain, so it was kind of cloudy. But through every photograph, there is what we call, I call it the spirit smile. Wow. Two eyes and a big old grin. Wow, every, that's beautiful. Every photograph that was taken during the That is the beautiful. Yeah, it was amazing. I have to... I have to send you some pictures. Okay, I'd so love to. Um, 
Bill is saying Uncle Rich is who you're describing. Okay. Was he, was they, he like, a, okay, your dad is still here. So that means that Rich had to have been kind of like a, um, a father, father figure. figure to you because that was kind yeah. of a feeling. Although I didn't feel like I would call him dad, but he had that fatherly feeling. He has beautiful energy. Um, almost feels like a, like a, like a big, happy, sort of like how the ghost of Christmas present is portrayed in Dickens. Like a bit, like very big and, and loud and boisterous, but very sweet on the inside. Yeah, yeah. See how I can make a Dickens reference out of everything, Belle. You got to watch me. <laughs> Bill says he was tall. Yes, he was big. Um, and Patricia, you're, you're right. I forgot about that. Um, one of the pictures of my wedding um, was actually, um, several of our pictures in the wedding were put in uh, a book um, called... Um, uh, weird, was it weird Northern New York, Gary? And, and that was, I've, I've been in several of um, Sherry Rebay's books and well, she's now Sherry Farmington, but um, uh, in the weird Northern New York, a lot of our pictures are in the book. And um, there's one picture that she shared of uh, what was that place? It was a nunnery at one time, but then when we got married, it was like a VFW. And yeah. through the, one of the pictures that was taken, there's two windows up at the top of this building and in one window you can see a soldier standing there at attention with his hands you know to the side or to the back you know and in the other window is a, another different era soldier in the next window wow that you can see it was amazing these pictures were just amazing yeah that's awesome my uh, one of my best friends and her son they do a huge Civil War reenactment in um, in mm -hmm. Huntington Beach, where I grew up when we moved to California, and you know all those guys and 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 some girls that are in the reenactor outfits, and a lot of that stuff is authentic stuff that authentic. they bought, and boy, can yeah. you, wow, can you feel the spirits attached to that stuff? Gary carried an authentic Civil War saber. Oh, I love that with his with his Union soldier's uniform. And wow. my son, who was in a Confederate uniform, uh, was you know one of the groomsmen, and he carried an authentic Civil War rifle. And in one of the pictures in the book that, that Sherry had put in the book, there is a huge red orb that goes straight down the length of that gun. In the wow. Yeah. That is so cool. It was amazing. Amazing. So, um, so we know then for Bill, that his uh, Uncle Rich was with him. Um, yeah. Another question being asked, same question from Buffy Monica. She's wanting to know who is around me right now. I'm gonna let you take that one, Bill. Well, you know, the first Cause I thing- Because hugged, I hugged William. <laughs> the, the, first, the first thing that I felt, um, Buffy, it was Buffy, right? The first thing that I felt was more of an angelic presence. And the feeling was that um, uh, you know, I hate to say not so much that you need it, but it felt more like, um, because there's been such a trying past couple of months around you, Buffy, that I feel like they're there more as a comfort, a consolence, you know, and to let you know, hey, you're not alone because we've got you. You know, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the yeah. feeling that I get. and And I don't know if this it kind of feels like it was a scare that you received in the last month or two, like some sort of a scare or, um, um, it's, a, it's, it, it just feels like a scare. And I'm not sure that it had to do with health or anything, but it's almost like the angels, this particular angel is trying to, Ariel is what her name is, uh, or his name, I shouldn't say, because angels really have no gender. Um, but they're yep. angel, they're an archangel Ariel, I believe is the one. And it just feels as though, um, like you asked for help or you asked for, I want to say guidance, if you ask me. And, and, but they're there for you. Okay, she says, yes, it's been a very hard year and so far no scare. But this is making me feel like that, that Ariel has been around you probably for the last couple of months. And, and I feel like, um, uh, I don't know if it was, I wouldn't say scare as in um, financial is what they tell me. 
it actually has a lot to do around finances or a financial matter. And that they're saying, we're here for you. We've got your back. Like, you know, they got you covered. Yeah. So I hope that makes sense for you, Buffy. And somebody asked about their spirit guides. I saw that as it was flying up before it, before it dove under my rocks. Um, um, I've been copying and pasting as, as they're coming whoever in. Whoever asked Instagram. about the spirit guides, has anyone ever told you that you have a you have an off-worlder spirit guide and an extraterrestrial spirit guide, sort of a like a dark robed figure, tall, thin. Yeah. Complexion is kind of a light, light bluish, like a crystal bluish, almost like a one of the blues. Like a, what? It's like one of the blues. Yeah, Isn't it's it's the, almost the color of like a like a blue agate, like that kind of a, yeah, yeah. like a blue calcite, like a blue calcite, that color. Wow. Yeah, beautiful eyes, very serene, very old. So, and yeah. very spiritual. The blues are very spiritual beings. And who was oh, yeah. our lovely Buffy lighthouse says, yes, dweller that, that was asking about, that you were talking about the angelic presence with? Uh-huh. Um, there's also a, a, a passed over female around you. Um, always worries about you. I was going to say that too. And, and I felt mm -hmm. like, um, uh, I don't know if her name was actually Sheena or if it's because you're here and I'm picking up Sheena. But Buffy was, <laughs> Somebody's saying was, Sheena. Aren't they? Um, Buffy, what, there's a friend, there's somebody that's around her. Tracy says, Bell, it's me. Okay, yes, well, Tracy, you asked about the with spirit guides, right? Yeah, off-world spirit guide, Tracy. Good night, brother. I love you, honey. Oh, good night, brother. I love you. <laughs> Sheena says, I love you. Donald's coming in to tell me good night. Oh. Getting ready to go to bed. Um. Did she, uh, Buffy says her cousin Heather, maybe. Um, yeah. Did, did she have like a sandy blonde or a lighter colored hair? Night, Bye, Good night, night sweetheart. Well. Okay, Karen, uh, if you ever get a chance to stop in the, here at Fort Bragg, I'll be, be carrying the American flag in our annual Veterans Day parade this year. Oh, wow. He does that. I would year. love that. We need to make a every plan. Year. I would, I would love, love to come. To, yeah. Every year he carries the American flag for the AFIS Association for his team. He's badass. Awesome. Yes, you are. Yes, you I are. I would love to so see that. Remember. This is Sheena O'Neill. She was, yeah. There was a Bible on she didn't know. You know what, what the birth Did you says. know she's a minister? She is. I am. She certainly is. Yeah. Just like me. That is awesome, bro. High five to Sheena. <laughs> yeah. <You're telling> <laughs> Night, sweetheart. Sleep well. Good night, baby doll. Um, so Tracy's asking, so what does that mean? What does it mean that she has a an, another worlder around her? Well, I just think our spirit guides are sort of like, we just sort of get what we get. They're our team. Uh, why we get who we get is kind of above my pay grade. Um, yeah. I, I don't know why, but but for whatever, probably probably because you have a connection to that planet maybe some you have some dna from that planet or mm -hmm. you spent mm -hmm. another lifetime on that planet i i don't as i said that's kind of a, above the information i'm given but you definitely do have this being and this being is is neither male nor female right has a very neutral energy and um is very smart very tender um fostering your own gifts within you um for you to realize all of your own gifts and um very gentle, uh, uh, works a lot on helping you deal with your empathy. Um, just, just lovely. I mean, just a lovely being, but kind of interesting, it's kind of a amazing. very dark blue, almost black robe. And then this sort of like a lighter, like the color of, if everybody has blue calcite, the color of, uh, of blue calcite, um, the texture of the skin. Even the way when blue calcite is raw and it sort of looks like blue and kind of white mixed, that's it's kind of that's yeah. kind of what the complexion is like. It's really striking and interesting. Very small facial features. That's enough, buddies. Why do we I see what we see? Himself. 
distracting. Someone's okay. licking Bell. So, um, I'm talking a, about off-worlders yeah. and somebody's licking Bell. <laughs> it's always Yankee something Bell. on the Psychic Lighthouse, my friends. It's always something <laughs> wacky. Live and in person. <laughs> um, <laughs> Buffy, very quickly. <laughs> a live and in person here. Um, Buffy, she says her ex-sister-in-law had the sandy blonde hair. I, I'm still not sure. I want to say it's the sister-in-law. but Yeah. Like, and they have their hair that's right about to the shoulders, maybe just at the shoulder or just below the shoulder. And and you said your friend had red hair, but was it a fire reek? Because I don't think I don't see it as that brilliant. Okay. And um, but it and it, maybe it was kind of a strawberry blondish color, but it feels like it's not yellow blonde, mind you, but it just feels like it's a lighter color to me. So yeah. So anyway, let's kind of move on. Um, Kimberly Merriman is asking, how was your near-death experience? Like, how um, did that feel to you? How, how was it? It was that? beautiful. I mean, you learn when you, when you cross over that on the, uh, when you go home, which is what I like to call the other side, there's no pain, mm -hmm. there's no worry, there's no suffering. When that's instantly taken out of your body, you don't even realize, even as a young person at 23 years old, I didn't realize how much pain I was in. I would have told you I was a pretty happy-go-lucky person. How much emotional pain I was in. There's just so much pain that comes with being in a body and being incarnate that we don't mm -hmm. realize until it's gone how much of it is there. And, and just love and gentleness. And there's nothing waiting for us but wonderful. Good, good. But uh, unless you're, over... you know, an <laughs> asshole, then maybe there is. Yeah. Buffy is saying over here was a light red. And that's that's kind of what I feel. And it sure. may just be the, the imagery that I'm seeing, or maybe it's the light that I'm seeing her in Buffy, but I think it is, I think it's her, you know? So, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's keep moving on because we're getting a lot of questions here and a short time to get there. <laughs> um, Carrie Ray Brooks. Um, I'm very interested in knowing if my dad is keeping a watchful eye on me. Oh, sure. Yeah, of course. Always. You know that, though. Mm -hmm. Carrie Ray Brooks, you know that. You can feel him all the time. And sometimes you smell him. Sometimes you smell cologne, aftershave, clothes, something, something yeah. of his that he always smelled like. And and so it's kind of, I keep getting the watch, Carrie. Like, I don't know if you have dad's watch um, or because it, it's big. Whatever this is, is huge. It's big. Like he had a big watch. And I don't know if it's what you got from him or um, if it was his watch and he's trying to, maybe it's a symbolic, I'm watching you. Watch, get it? You know, like it's oh, a symbol. Oh, Belle, you got to get up and, early in the morning um, to get oh, past Belle. I'm telling you, she says, I do. Yes, I do. And so that's him letting you know that he's aware that you have his watch. And so there's your validation, my babes, that he's always yeah. around you and he knows you have the watch. Yeah. So that's and what's wonderful. with the unique smell? Did he smoke pipe, cigar, cigarettes, wood burning, fireplace, something that smells cologne that was, <laughs> no. I'm sorry? Irish spring. <laughs> Irish, yes. There was something um, like a, a, not perfumey, but like an earthy loveliness, smoky something to the way he smelled. Old Spice. That there would you go. Be it. That would be There it. you go. Oh, bless your heart, sweetie. He we loves so you so good. much. When you sit, there's a chair that you sit in and read and meditate and do things. When you <laughs> sit in that chair, he sits right next to you. I don't know if you it's should be able to chair, feel him on the, your right arm. He brought that up, the chair. It's his chair or yeah. if it's, you know, um, the chair that's always like his chair. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool. That's cool. All right. So Lucy Lalonde, my baby girl here, Lucy um, is asking... Um, there's a lot of turmoil surrounding me at this time. What could this be? Mm. What's behind this? You're growing, sweetheart. You're growing uh -huh. spiritually so fast. 
And a lot of it is just growing pains, honey. Things are leaving your life that have to leave as you're growing and making room for new things to come in. You're in a spiritual sprint. And this is happening quick, fast, and in a hurry. Yeah. Uh, you're getting rid of the things that no longer serve so you. Fast. Mm -hmm. and, and I also feel, and, and I don't know if I should say this out loud, Lucy, or not, but I'm, I'm going to, Spirit brought it up, i got to say it. Um, I, I feel like that you have been, oh, excuse me, releasing a lot of pent up anger or built up anger. Um, and I don't know, I don't think it's because you really had anger issues. Whoops. Sorry, I'm folks. Getting I'm getting that there's this, yeah, I'm getting that there's this pent up anger stuff that, um, that you're releasing. And so, you know, um, yes, she said yes. Um, yeah, a lot of the like turmoil, is sweetie, is so that fast. you're but you're letting go of all that stuff. And it's so important that yep. you let go of it. And it feels chaotic, darling, because Lucy is a little bit of a control freak. <clears throat> uh -uh. And so she uh -oh. wants to always be in control instead of letting spirit, Let it go, baby. You know, let it go. Let yeah, it go. Take the helm for right now. Yeah. Are you going to bed already, honey bunny? Yeah. I get all kinds of kisses at night. Good night, sweetheart. Oh, it's nice night, to get honey. kisses. Yeah. Just the cat kisses me. Oh, always good. Just the cat. She kisses me oh, well, begrudgingly. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, you know, we are um, we are such a loving and giving family. You know, Isn't that nice? Day, I love that. I love you every day. Whether it's my sister, whether it's my brother, my husband, my children, you know, we say that every day to each other. We never hang up the phone without saying, I love you, you know. I do it with all my um, friends, so yeah. and some, even the cranky ones have learned to do it back. Yeah, yeah. Especially those that are like, oh, I don't hug. Well, then too bad, yeah. because you are yeah. now, because I'm going to hug you anyway. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. So thank you um, for your question there, Lucy. I love you, dear. Uh, Christina Leduc says, my dad's birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday to your dad. Happy birthday, and daddy. The one... Yeah, and his one-year anniversary of his passing is on March the 20th. Uh -huh. Is there anything you can get or sense from him? It's uh, How long ago did he pass? A year. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't, March 20th would be one I was year. tapping into him and not listening yeah. to real-world stuff. Um, he wants yeah. you to his be okay. His birthday is tomorrow, but his one-year anniversary, yeah. He wants you to be okay to move forward. He knows that you don't, you don't realize yet that the one year anniversary is going to be really hard on you. And he wants you to just breeze through it. So he wants you to spend that day, March 20th, doing something that he would have loved for you to do and to celebrate it in happiness and not be sad. Cause he thinks that you're not really thinking about how hard it's going to be, but that day is going to hit you like a ton of bricks. Find something really that makes your heart sing that you can go and do and know he's doing it with you. Mm -hmm. And did he always wear a cap? Christina, did, did dad wear a cap? But I'm not sure. I feel like, I don't know if it's a baseball hat or if it's another different type of cap. So I'm not sure. Hi, Wendy. So good to catch up with you again, doll. Glad you're with us here. It just feels like there's a cap or a... Um... You know what? I, I'm trying to think of the name of the hat. You know, the, the type of hats like golfers wear? So yeah, I, I was thinking that same golfer. thing, that exact same hat. I almost yeah. said that. Yes. I was going to call it a sailor's yeah, cap, yeah. but I don't think that's what it is. Yes. So let us, let us know, Christina. Yeah. What is that Y R D? Yep. Oh yes, okay. <laughs> I thought she was saying word. word. Yard, yard. It's our new, it's our new, uh, our new street talk. We just say yard, yard, yard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh my goodness, I look so goofy in these in these these lives. Okay, but I don't care. Um, so she says yes. Yeah. So he did wear a hat like that. I'm assuming. Um, so 
uh, this is just kind of a quick validation that he's giving us that um, that he is around you. And, yeah. and I, I was, it was getting the exact same words, you know, about celebrate yeah. life, you know, for yes. his, um, his birthday, obviously. Absolutely. His life. And for his anniversary, that's another birthday, if you think about it. Yeah. Because, you know, we get to go home. And so um, celebrate that, you know, let that be, you know, the, the, you know, the celebration of life. And granted, we miss them and nothing's ever going to take that away. But yeah. um, celebrate the life. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for that. And thanks for sharing your dad with us. Yes. All righty. We have, um, oh, good question. Denise Johnson says, Hi, Denise. what stone will help me develop my abilities? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, get an amethyst. Get a big, fat amethyst. Right and on. then get a quartz crystal because the quartz will amplify everything that the amethyst is doing. Get a rose quartz so that you can balance your emotions while you're working through building your spirituality. And then always, as you're growing your gifts, get a black tourmaline and a selenite to stay purified and keep any negativity out. Because as you're opening up that channel, all kinds of critters can come swimming in and we don't want that. I'm also hearing tiger's eye too. Oh, good that'd be for, good too. It's good for protection. Tiger, protection. And, yes. Yeah. And enhancement. Yes. Yeah. So there's a, um, just get you one of those little plush baggies, you know, um, that you can get and just yeah. throw in a few samples of each Mojo of these bag. stones. Do you know, Belle, yeah, this year for bag. Christmas, I got my 10 year old niece, my best friend's daughter, uh, her first mojo bag. Awesome sauce. Uh-huh. Yeah. With 12 of and my favorite put... stones, one for each month of the year. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. We'll have to do a stone class because, you know, yes. folks just love to hear about yes. the stones. Exactly. You know, so um, that would be, that would be neat. Thanks for that question. That's a good one. It's an awesome question. Um, Tracy. Yeah. Tracy Tooker Denardo. I think I may have some kind of abilities. How can I find out what they actually are? You take Bell's psychic development class. That's how. <laughs> yes. Shameless plug. <laughs> and I'm always here to remind you that that's right and that you should keep taking Bell's psychic development class. And, and yeah. also spend some time in the stillness, sweetheart, just yeah. with yourself. Spend some time in the isness. My is place is the hot tub. I sit in the water. When you're in the water, you can't do anything. You can't go anywhere. You are in the isness of the water. And so many things come to me spiritually, creatively, intellectually. I solve relationship problems for myself and for other people. It all happens in the hot tub. Find your still place and just let yeah. the universe tell you what they've been trying to say to you. I will say this, though, Tracy, um, something to keep in mind for anybody that is trying to decide or figure what... Um, their um, ability is, you know, I always tell people focus on just one, make yes. that your master and then the others will branch out. But here's what yeah. you have to consider. We have five senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. Those same five senses exist in the psychic realm. Yes. If you think about it, and if we look at the psychic realm, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. So yes. ask yourself, in your seeing, in your physical world, what is my strongest ability? Do I yeah. listen very well? Am I a good talker? Uh, do I visualize things in my head? You know, find out what it is you do best or easiest. Yes, yes. And that's probably going to, to be the same in your psychic senses. Yes. So keep, this gives you something to think about. Yeah, and then take Bell's class. Okay. And then take my class. Because you'll love it. I mean, some of the guys here tonight, Christopher, William, uh, some of the guys here are, are in my class right now that I'm offering. And there's several of you that have already had my class. Yeah. And, um, and, and come back again. And that's the beauty of my classes. Once you have paid for my class, you can take it again and again and again and again, as many times as huh. I offer that class. That's awesome. For free. When does that ever happen? Pay once, get it the rest of your life. I don't care. <laughs> you know? So that's cool. So we have time for... Um, one more question, and then, um, Danielle, we're going to be ready for our drawing. 
Woo! The life. drum roll, please. Yes. So, um, Linda Kellogg is asking, Hi, Linda. How do I get past the anger? Oh, I know. Oh, honey. and and uh, and I'm okay. I'm I'm not sure, sweetheart, if you're talking about anger behind the passing of someone, or all the same, um, right? Anger is anger. Yeah. You, you know, you know how you do it, sweetheart, is you you replace that negative space with a positive mm -hmm. thing, because negativity and positivity can't live in the same space. So, when you get angry about something. You fill yourself up by doing good, happy, wonderful things for other people and for yourself. And then you watch how those good memories and the good feelings start to push the bad and shrink it up the way that a chemo shrinks a tumor. You know, my mom used yeah. to always say yeah. that um, every time something positive happens, it erases a negative. And I think that's true. And um, yeah. that was how she sort of helped herself out of her anxiety issues and how I did myself when I was young, listening under her tutelage, how I got rid of my anxiety was, you know, you always, you can always have a, a good memory, a good memory. You know, one time you do something and something's great and you don't freak out, then it, it takes a little bit of the fear of doing it away. And it's the same thing with anger. The only thing that's ever going to replace anger, get rid of anger is to replace it with positivity. So as mad as you are, yeah. Think about something that you love, sweetheart, and find a way to put that love in place and do something that feels good to you, that helps another person. And then you watch the anger begin to dissipate on its own. You do the positive things, love, and let the universe take care of the rest. Well said. Well said. So there you have it, guys. We love you. All. Everybody's saying, awesome, awesome, Sheena. So um, Danielle, she's getting to getting ready for the drawing. So nice. um, Sheena is offering a 30-minute reading. I am. One lucky, yeah, one lucky chat member here tonight. Absolutely. And, um, and yeah. And, and I'm also running a, a holiday special right now for the month of February oh, good, yes. in in honor of the day of love, if anybody wants to do a, a one question, 10, 15 minute reading, $25, yeah, you can do as many as you want. You can do as, you can call me as much as you want. I'm real, I follow up, no charge through text messages for everybody I've done readings for. I'll continue to check in with you. Um, that's kind of like my equivalent of bells. If you take my class, you get to keep taking my class. If you get a reading from yeah. me, then I, I take care of you and send you love for life. Um, maybe you're like, go away already. I only had one reading with you. Um, but, um, <laughs> it's been helping a lot of people. Uh, it doesn't have to just be about love this month, about anything you have questions about, but I know a lot of people's hearts hurt this time of year. So I'm actually, when we're done here, I've got clients tonight. I'm going to be working all tonight, all tomorrow morning, sitting in the hot tub, taking calls. So if you want to do it, just let me know. You can email me at Sheena at I am raising your vibration.com, or you can text me. My cell number, I'm about to give my cell number out on Facebook. It's 818-437-0886. That's 818-437-0886. And just let me know that you're one of my family members from Psychic Lighthouse. And I'm not going to type that in the chat room. They'll have to listen to the, to the video. Oh, you can type it in the chat room. That's fine. All right. It's all right with all right. me. Say sure. it again. 818-437-0886. Uh, and my email is it, Sheena at I am raising your vibration dot com. Wonderful. Sure. Wonderful. Wow, this has been such an amazing I loved it. Video tonight. Thank you, my friend. This has been so much fun. And I now loved it. um I want to announce here very quickly. Tomorrow night we have Christopher Byrne who will be coming. Oh yay! Up. Is he amazing? He's wonderful. I love him. Yeah. He'll be on tomorrow night. And now he is giving away not one, but two one hour readings. Wow. That's beautiful. Is that amazing? That's wonderful. Yeah. So, I mean, oh my goodness. We are just, we're always so very blessed with the, the love 
that is awesome. I love in this, in this everybody group. in here, and I love doing this for you. And anybody who wants to friend me on Facebook, please do. And if I send you a message telling you that this page, this uh, page is full, and send you to another secret covert page, know if it has Sheena and it, it's me. So um, I would love to be friends <laughs> with all of you on Facebook. <laughs> you got to yes, sneak around yes. when it's Facebook. <laughs> All right, so Danielle, do we have a winner yet for tonight's drawing? Waiting on my Danielle. She's, she, we have a lot of people here. We got 30 people wow. listening tonight. And That's awesome. Tonight. Yeah, yes. You know, it's just, it's amazing the, the love that this, these wonderful people share and the desire love. for knowledge. That's what I love. Yeah, I love that. Oh, thank you, Tracy says. You're both such beautiful ladies. We love you. Thank and you, Jen sweetheart. Says, Jen said she gets, yeah, she gets Facebook grounded all the time. Good. <laughs> That's cute. Sheena is very popular, Rebecca. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I love you guys. It's exciting because this is sort of a new part of my life. I mean, Belle, compared to how long you've been yeah. doing this publicly, I've been in the closet all those years. I'm just a baby who's just come out of the closet. So the amazing reception <laughs> from the spiritual world and from all the wonderful people in it has just been just gobsmackingly beautiful. I don't even know what else to say. I don't want to sit here and blubber on Psychic Lighthouse, but I love that I'm getting word. close. Don't you love that word? Yes, me too. My, my friends over the pond use that word phrase. And I'm like, I when love I first it. heard it, I'm like, gobsmacked. What the heck is that? <laughs> like shocked you know it's just it's amazing so yeah oh so um J uh, danielle did we lose you yeah danielle lose you. <laughs> somebody wants a free reading danielle she's like hey yeah, what about right? my free reading i want a free reading i never got mine <laughs> yeah she said she's going to save hers for when um when she needs it and I told oh, you, you always need a free reading. You always need a reading. It's always up. the time. Yeah. So, and it might just be that we have so many people here tonight that she's, you know, having having a lot of names to pull from. Sure. So I hope we didn't lose her. Anyways, let me see who else is in here. No, Danielle's in here. Danielle. Yep, she's still in here, so she's probably just busy putting together the names and stuff. If anybody wonders why I'm shifting around like a crazy person here, it's like I'm sitting on a skateboard. It's because our yoga ball, it's because I, uh, I threw my knee out I'm three like, weeks ago. And so I'm trying to, I keep trying to get it comfortable. It's, it's down here with a brace on it. So sorry, I'm all like, woo, like in the camera, shifting around like a crazy person, but you got to do what you got to do. I love that. It's, and it's, yeah, that's cool. So um, let me see what's, what's being said. So how does the free readings work? Well, Danielle Jefferson, Rebecca, in the group, um, comes in and joins us in chat. And she, uh, she always takes down everybody's name. And then at the end of the chat, she draws a name mm. and tells us who the winner is. You know, so... Um, uh, Danielle, I, I don't know if you're on, if you're just listening, or if you're away from the computer, or what have you, but um, these folks are chafing at the bit to know who wins the free reading. Oh, Rebecca says, Miss Sheena, may I send oh, you a healing energy? Thank you. Which yes, knee and, is bothering and, and if I may so inquire, while everyone's sending healing energy, I almost lost my uh, my cat two weeks ago to pneumonia, so... Oh, She's good. home getting better. Everybody knows her that I've done readings for. Molly, the, the psychic cat oracle. Um, she got pneumonia because it was so cold out here. So if everybody would yeah. send Molly a little bit of love, I would so appreciate that. And I'll, I'll put a picture up in the Absolutely. chat when we're done so you can all see her, her beautiful blue face. So. Oh, absolutely. We can do that. So, um, Danielle, let me, somebody private message her. Let me, let me hit her up. <laughs> Let me see what's up. Because she could just be really tied up with all the um, names she's got to go through here. Let's see. 
There she Thank is. you, everybody, for the prayers for Molly and my knee. I appreciate it. You're all super beautiful. Oops, if I can spell. There, I just messaged her and let's see um, what she says. And also, if anybody's on Instagram, friends. Twitter, anything, you can follow me just at Sheena Metal, just my name. I have a, um, a professional page yeah. here, the same thing. Just Facebook.com slash Sheena Metal. Twitter's just at Sheena Metal. Instagram's just at Sheena Metal. Let me know how I can follow you. Uh oh, M E D or M E T? It's M E T A L. S H E E N A M E T A L. There you yeah, go. No, you, you put a D, on? I think, Bill. Yeah, I did. So I'm going to fix that puppy. Right here. <laughs> Put a T. There we go. Ta-da. Yay. <laughs> All right. So it looks like um, Danielle might have, you know, dozed off because, you know, she works, this young lady works so hard. Sure, sure. And um, that's okay. So, yeah. So, um Um, let's, well, let's ask Spirit one more time. Who gets the reading? Let me let me write it. Hi, Buffy. Yes, I send out like a weekly to bi-weekly. Uh, she said she just got an email from me. I, I do a spiritual mailing list where I send you a little love and let you know what's going on with me and events you can come to and things yeah. I have free tickets for. So you're all welcome to get on my mailing list if you want. I'd love it. And I also, uh, the full and new yeah, moon yeah. every month, I do uh, free prayers for everybody. You can send me your prayers yeah. and I'll include them in my ceremony. And I always post that here in the lighthouse too. All right. I have a name for you. Yay. As a, a, a winner for tonight. Oh, I know who this is. Uh, <laughs> Tonight's winner of the 30-minute reading with Sheena Metal, a.k.a. Sheena O'Neill on the air, is Kitty Salzman. Hi, Kitty. Yay. Kitty, this is awesome. I'm so excited. Of... Yes. Yeah, so let's um, put down here. Tonight's winner is... Kitty Salzman. Kitty, just send me an email and we'll set it up, my friend. Yes, Kitty Salzman. Congratulations, my dearest. Absolutely. This Kitty is such an amazing lady. Her and her family are just amazing lady. They adopted numerous children who were what one might have considered unwanted but she and her husband, Michael, wanted every one of them. Ten Aww. children they have. Is that wow. amazing? Well, you know what, Kitty? this lady. She is such an inspiration. My mom was adopted. She's before she went to live in Wappinger with my grandparents. She spent six years in the system during the Depression in, in Louisville, Kentucky. And my niece, who I talk about all the time, my best friend's daughter, is also adopted. So my Scorpio mother thanks you and my Scorpio niece thank you for taking care of the adopted babies. There you go. Kitty says, Belle and Jerry are our family and that's how we feel about you. you know? Oh, so I love that. Absolutely, Kitty, just as, as um, uh, Sheena said, contact her. Uh, Please send email, me an email, sweetheart. Um, or just or text yeah, me. Or click on her name in the group. And, uh, and she will uh, hook you up. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Buffy says, I, This I was fun, Belle. My finances. I know, this is always so much fun. This was wonderful. Yeah, I appreciate and, and I it. Love your, I love your new moon ceremonies. They are yeah, amazing. Yeah, full moon, full moon and new yeah. moon. And I do special hall. I did not do one on... Um, uh, embolic Feast of St. Bridget. Yeah. I meant to do it and I was so busy and I had just thrown my knee out and I, and I didn't do it. But I did it on Salwin. I did it on um, summer solstice. I did it on winter solstice. Yeah. 
and then I um, I did it on. I'll do it on. Probably I'll probably do something on Valentine's Day, uh, just because Yay. of all, all the love prayers. Uh, but I always yeah. do every full moon and every new moon in addition to that. And like I said, I should have done February first, but I didn't. This this year we'll get the equinoxes rolling too. I'm trying to get all the good holidays in, and so it's uh, you know, oh, I do. Yes. I did it for we, we for just, solstice yeah. for Christmas. It, it's important. People need the love and people have prayers for themselves, for their loved ones, for the world. Also, when we do these gatherings, Friday night, if you're in LA, I'm having a gathering for my Raising the Vibration.org movement. And we always put out a prayers, yeah. intentions, wishes, hopes, and dreams box. And you can write down what you want for yourself and the world and put it in the box. And the night after the gathering, I do a ceremony and I, and I do the prayers. So. Amazing. Just pray like a that is thing, amazing. Though. Just yeah. praying all the time. Yeah, it it does. It's, it is like a magnet. It draws all this wonderful energy to you. Yes. You know, but um, sweetheart, thank you again for. Oh, my sharing pleasure, time sweetheart. Anytime. I'll see you. In, I'll see you in March for the St. Patrick's Day one. I love you all. Thank you so That's much right. for we this. Gotta, we gotta. We gotta come up with some ideas for the leprechauns. Exactly. And the leprechauns will be <laughs> dancing. All right. Yeah, we will. So everybody, thank you so much for joining us tonight. And um, we'll see you tomorrow night with Christopher Byrne. Have a great night. Give yourselves a hug because you deserve it. <laughs>